Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar. We're pretty excited to show this technology. We showed it at our release 19 update seminars earlier in the year, and it was very well received. We um, had lots of interests and actually have people that have trialed this software and already bought it. So we wanted to share it with the broader community, and the best way to do that we felt was via a webinar. Um, what we're going to be showing today is some um, very exciting brand new simulation technology um, for engineers and, des and designers um, and it's GPU powered instantaneous simulation. It's a product called ANSYS Discovery Live and as quick as you can think up a new concept or a new idea, you can get simulation results. So um, it um, needs to be seen to be, be believed. My name is Nick Goodall and I'll be hosting today and I will be joined by my colleague Hashan Mendes and he will do a live demonstration of ANSYS Discovery Live and we are both from Leap Australia. This is the agenda that I've got planned. Um, I'm going to make some opening remarks about concept level simulation for every engineer and then we're going to talk about the capabilities of Discovery Live, show you a few case studies and then get stuck into the demonstrations and spend most of the time um, showing video demonstrations and live demonstrations. And we'll finish off um, briefly discussing hardware requirements and how you can get access to a trial and information on pricing and packaging. So as I said, um, I just wanted to make a comment about um, the use of simulation and what we're seeing in the marketplace. When you talk to customers and, and this has actually come from customer data. Most of our innovative customers are seeing that the number of engineers that are using simulation tools has increased um, in recent times and they plan to allow all their engineers to have access to simulation technology in the years ahead. The other thing we've noticed is you get the most benefit from simulation tools if you do the simulation early in the product development process. So if you have what we call a simulation driven product development strategy and you're using simulation tools at the detailed design stage then the cost of making a design change is, is much lower and you can identify more issues and address those issues um, before you get too far down the product development process. Obviously, if you can do simulation even earlier at the concept level stage, then you get even greater benefits. But the requirements to do simulation when you're at the concept stage, well, you need the simulation tool to be fast and, you know, very dynamic and almost instantaneous. And you need it to be very easy to use and, and intuitive and easy to learn. And you need it to be affordable so you can deploy it um, across the entire engineering and, and design team. So all designers, all industrial designers, all engineers need access to this simulation capability um, for their concepts. Well, ANSYS has come up with a product that satisfies all those requirements. And ANSYS Discovery Live is, is pretty amazing. It's an, a new technology from ANSYS. Um, and it gives you simulation results in real time. So as fast as you can think up a new design or a new idea, you can see the results and you can interact with those results and the way you display those results is very interactive as well. So um, you can see here in the animations that we're, we're running through different design concepts and getting results immediately. It's fast and hopefully you'll see that in the demos today. It is easy to use. Um, it's got a powerful geometry modeling and geometry editing tool under the hood called ANSYS Space Claim, which makes it very easy to make your design changes. Um, and it can do all of this because it's taking a new approach to simulation. It's using the readily available power that you get in your GPUs or your graphics processing units. So most people have a good GPU card now and ANSYS is taking advantage of that card and using it to, to do these simulations. 
terms of capabilities, ANSYS Discovery Live can run FEA simulations, so you can do structural analysis and thermal analysis and modal analyses, but you can also do transient CFD simulations, whether it's internal flow or external flow. Can work with all sorts of geometry formats, but um, even with STL files, which opens up um, even greater opportunities for people to, to run quick simulations. As I said, it can work with all sorts of geometry files. It's CAD agnostic, so it doesn't matter where the CAD has come from. You can bring it into Discovery Live. You can make changes to it. You can get results, and you can go through different concepts very, very quickly. So let's have a, um, a look at a couple of case studies. So it's important to note that this product was released in September last year as a technology preview, which was a free, full-featured um, product that anyone could download for a limited time and use. And during that technology preview, lots and lots of information was shared with ANSYS in terms of ways to improve it and um, models were shared. And a lot of that helped with the development and the commercial product was released earlier this year and we already have lots of happy customers both locally and, and globally. There's a couple of case studies here from customers using Discovery Live. First one here, you know, you, you can read the full story online or, or watch a video on this case study, but what I wanted to point out was they estimated that this particular problem would have taken a week or so to do with their traditional CFD system but they managed to learn how to use Discovery Live and get the results that they needed all within one and a half days. And you know, they could play around with the, um, the orientation of the vehicle that they're towing as well as the, the angles of the canopy that um, could potentially um, contribute to drag. The, the other interesting case study that's available to look at is, um, is from Rosignol who manufacture equipment for, for the skiing industry. But the interesting thing I wanted to point out here is they actually said that they are using Discovery Live during their design review meetings and during their brainstorming sessions. They're not just coming up with an idea and then going away and simulating it, they're doing the simulation there and then in the meeting. And, and they actually said, look, we could not do this with any other software, it would be impossible. <coughs> 